All right. What sounds weirder, D'Angelo Smith, former Bearcat, or D'Angelo Smith, Dallas Cowboy? Uh, I say former. I don't know. None of them sounds weird. I think they both sounds great. Is it strange though being around campus with spring ball happening, and you weren't a part of it for the first time in what five years? Yeah, it was strange because I was getting out there, start sitting in the bleachers, you know, getting Andy up and just you know wishing I was out there. But then I knew I had rookie mini camp to come, so I kind of got ready for rookie mini camp. The process is finally done. You said you went through it once. Was it fun? What will you remember from the experience of the world when you went through between the Orange Bowl and the day you were drafted? Uh, just, I guess each process, it was like the bowl game, then you know you had to sign the agent, interview people, then you had the senior bowl game, then you had the combine, and all that is like a process just with the training and you know just going out there and doing it for like you know maybe a month or a month or two. And then just, you know, getting ready for the combine. Well, Kenny, you've been to Dallas once for one weekend for many for rookie workout. What was it like actually getting putting on a helmet with a star on it? Uh, it's, I mean it's America's team and you know, everybody wants to play for the uh for the Dallas Cowboys, so it was just exciting just to see the star on my helmet and got my first couple pictures. You know, that's exciting just to see the star, you know, on my on my head. I had read somewhere that growing up you were a Dallas fan. Is that true? Yeah, I've been a Cowboys fan since I was young. Did you have any idea they were looking at you or thinking about you or when your name popped up? Yeah, well, I had talked to them at the Combine, and they seemed very interested, and they was my only visit, so it kind of worked out perfect. It's my only visit, and they ended up picking me. What are your thoughts after going through rookie minicamp? I mean, it's tough to say, you know, what position you're going to, how far on the depth chart are you going to make the team? All that. What is your first thoughts, though, as far as what you've seen out of the other guys that were there for rookie minicamp? I mean, everybody looks great. I mean, everybody's flying around to the ball. Everybody seemed like they was having fun. It's just everybody now just got to try to make the team. And that's really my goal right now is to make that 53 man roster. Or you've come a long way. You redshirted your, first, your freshman year. Your sophomore year as a Bearcat, you open up, I think, at home at Nippert against Eastern Michigan. Fast forward four years, you could open up as a Dallas Cowboy in a brand new multi billion dollar stadium on national TV on Monday night. Can it get any better? No, nah, it can't get no better than that. And then with the Jumbotron they got going from 20 to 20, so you're going to be able to see everything, even from getting burnt or, you know, making a great play. So it's just going to be exciting just to step in that new stadium. What's it been like meeting with the Dallas people so far? Have you met many veterans? Have you met Jerry Jones? What about the people down there? I met with uh, Jerry Jones, and I met with a couple of players I know down there, Bobby Carpenter, and uh, everybody seems cool, man. It's just everybody laid back, and everybody has that same goal, just wanting to win a Super Bowl. Okay, the final question. You've been through the senior, uh, the senior Bowl with the NFL staff with Marvin Lewis and the guys from the Bengals. You've had a glimpse of Dallas. How prepared are you from what Brian Keller did for you as to what you're going into? Is it a big transition, or did he set you up pretty well to go to the next level? I think Coach Kelly and Coach uh, D'Antonio set me up pretty well because Coach D'Antonio, he had you know his he was a defensive-minded coach, and uh, Coach Kelly was uh, more of an offensive-minded, but he still had his input on the defense, and they both brought a lot to the table that helped me be the, to be the player I am today. Will you still be looking for Bearcat scores uh, in Dallas this uh, upcoming season? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will. Once a Bearcat, always a Bearcat? Yes. All right. Great.